bombing bass, baby. Welcome back to another episode of Bomb and Bass. That's right, another episode. Another episode of Bomb and Bass, but also season two. Season two, you're like, there was hardly a season one. I know, I know guys, there were like six videos. Maybe more, I don't know, nine to six to nine. I know, it was my first year. And we're already behind this year, I understand that. But this season is going to be way better than last season. I'm making a commitment right now to at least double the number of videos I had last year, which eh, doesn't seem like that hard. But man, it has been really hard to get motivated to do this thing. Not just record and do fun things, I'm doing that all the time, but, but capture it and then edit it. Editing, again, is my um, Achilles tendon. It, I, I just don't enjoy it anymore. Um, once I get started, I do. But anyway, enough rambling, guys. Welcome back to another episode. This episode is a little special. To kick off the new season, guys, we have an unboxing, a prep video, um, and an announcement. That's right, an announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, on Saturday, four days from now, my wife and I are heading to the Bahamas, to Great Exuma. This is where her and I took our honeymoon. Uh, and we met another couple, shout out to Justin and Alyssa, that are going back with us. We met them there at Great Exuma, great friends. Um, and we've had some epic adventures already with them. But man, this trip is going to be amazing. Guys, Great Exuma in the Bahamas is hands down the prettiest water in the world. This is going to be a, a great trip, lots of cinematography, um, beautiful picturesque stuff. But this time, we are targeting bone fishing. Guys, we are going bone fishing. We're gonna take spin tackle. Um, we got geared up, and that's what we're gonna show you today, guys. I got all these boxes over here. Uh, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna rig up the rods that we're taking um, and show you what we're gonna be doing. First things first, I'm gonna talk about these rods, guys. So, like I was saying, um, to, to fly fish down there, for me, it was gonna be really expensive to get the right line, um, get the flies that I needed and get ready to go to do it the right way. I, I, I could have I could have done a cheap route, but I just didn't think it would be right. Um, I probably wouldn't have a good time doing it that way. But anyway, um, I'm gonna first show you these rods, then I'm gonna do some unboxing, but I'm gonna explain some things about these rods, guys. These rods aren't that expensive. Um, hopefully they work for us. Um, they, they said on, during my research, you need a pretty light rod to throw these lures that we, we've ordered these jigs that imitate shrimp and crabs. Um, they're an eighth ounce jig and a 16th ounce jig. And they say that, that this is what we need. And, and shout out to um, the company Bugs Lures, Bugs Tackle. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you are curious. Most people fly fish for these types of fish. So this guy has hand tied these jigs um, to mimic flies. So. And those are not in, I'm sorry, I, I can't unbox those. Hopefully they're in by the end of the week, but I did put a link in the description below. Also, there'll be a link for the gear, guys, Bomb and Bass gear um, and apparel. If you like what you see, check it out. There's a link in the description. All right, first up, guys, this rod right here. This is a seven foot medium action Daiwa shock. I got this five years ago in Destin, Florida at a Walmart. It came with a cheap reel um, and I used it to target redfish off the jetty and it works guys. It's got a pretty soft tip but it's got some backbone and that's what they say that you're going to need for these bonefish to be able to cast those really light jigs um, in front of those bonefish but also enough backbone to stop them when you need to. Um, the number one thing that they said you need to have guys is a good Real with a good drag system. So I've got the best one that I've had. Like I was saying, I, I don't have a lot, didn't have a lot of money right now. We just bought this house. We're trying to, to uh, save up some money. So I have the best reels that I have, Fluger President. It's got a pretty good drag system, guys. Um, I know it's not a saltwater reel, 
So I'm gonna make sure to do my best to keep it out of the water, to hose it down when I get done. Um, but these are pretty affordable anyway, but I already had it, so if I ruin it, um, hopefully I can pick up another one for pretty cheap. My Shout out to my, my family, my father-in-law got this reel for me for Christmas, um, and they are great, great reels. It is a, I think it's 2,000 size. They, they suggest a 25 or a, a 3,000 size, 2,500 or 3,000. Um, but I think this is gonna work just great. We're gonna spool this up with 15 pound braid. And I have a rod here for my wife. Um, this is a seven foot, hers is a seven foot, hers is a little lighter. Um, but I also have it, we're, we're taking four rods um, to a piece in case something happens. She does have a different rod that's got a little bit more backbone to it, but it's shorter. So again, we're not buying any rods for this trip. So we gotta do, make do with what we have. But she has a Fluger President as well. We're gonna be spooling up with 15 pound braid and 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, so you can really cast this out there, cast those light jigs out there with that braid. Um, and I think we'll be able to spool up, spool up enough on here. We're gonna find out when I unbox this stuff because I got the braid in these boxes. But they say that you need 200 yards of braid because these fish will run. They will take off. Once you get, uh, get into one, they will take off. So we need two, about 200 yards of braid, then probably, I don't know, six to eight foot liter of fluorocarbon tied directly to that jig. Um, and we'll be using a double uni knot to, to attach the braid and the fluoro, which I don't have the fluoro with us today yet either. I'm just going to be spooling up these reels, getting them ready to pack in our bags. So that's the first rod. The second rod, again, that, guys, I, I don't think I paid 40 bucks for that rod reel combo, and it caught a massive redfish. I'll show you a picture right here. Uh, my wife and I did really good on the jetty there in Destin. It's great. The second rod up with the Pfluger President. If we can get around here. Um, this is a Shakespeare micro series. This is our crappie rod. I know what you're thinking. You've been talking about how these fish go on these awesome runs. How is this thing going to stop them? Well, guys, it's all about the reel. It's all about how you fight the fish. It's all about the reel. Um, and again, we've got this Pfluger President to take care of uh, the good drag system. And this actually has a decent backbone, guys, if I can get out here. It's not that bad. You know, a really soft tip to, uh, to cast those jigs out there and a great reel to, uh, to fight the fish. And my wife's pretty good, uh, pretty good fisherwoman. So I have no doubt she'll be able to use this to um, get those fish. So that's a seven foot light Seven foot light micro series from Shakespeare. Uh, my wife and I got those a couple of years ago to, to crappie fish and we love them, we love them. All right, so my backup rod is the same thing, micro series from Shakespeare, but mine is a 6.6. Six. Uh, so it's a little shorter. I've got the seven foot rod, the really good backbone um, that I know is capable of stopping these fish, but I have a, a micro series from Shakespeare with a, an Abu Garcia Black Max. Now, guys, this is a Black, Black Max, and it's a size 10 for, for their, the size of them. A 5, 10, 15, and I think they have a 20. Now, this is a pretty small reel for what we're doing, but I know it has a good drag system, and this is cheap, guys. So you know, I'm, I'm trying to, to show you that I think you can do this. Uh, if you got enough money to get down to the Bahamas, um, that you don't need to spend a lot of money on gear. So this Black Max, guys, these are like 30 bucks. Um, and I think it's gonna do the trick. I think I can get enough braid on here, spooled up, uh, and be ready to go. So my backup rod is that Micro Series 6.6 with a Black Max, or this right here, I'm gonna walk towards the camera to show you guys. This is my backup reel. My backup reel for all of this is literally a Walmart brand, um, size 2000. Try to get that in there for you guys. I don't even know what brand this is. I know I got it from Walmart, it is super affordable, but I think it's got a pretty good drag system, which is crazy, I know. Um, I'm actually gonna buy my wife one of these to have as her backup reel. She's gonna be taking two, she's gonna be taking her Fleur President and the Black Max, and I have a President and a Black Max, and then this is gonna be in our bag in case something happens. We're gonna spool that up and put some braid too. So, 
Um, and last but not least, the rods. For her rod, guys, um, he, he, a lot of you might laugh. Again, a Walmart special, Matsuo. It is a medium action spinning rod. Um, again, this was cheap. I mean, we might have got this at Big R, I'm not sure. But it's got a Black Max on it. Um, but this is the one, it's a little shorter, but it has a little bit better backbone than her light. So uh, if we're getting into some big reds, she'll probably have, uh, reds, sorry, bonefish, she'll probably have to switch over to this. And again, I've got a pair with that Black Max reel. You guys, again, a good drag system, smooth. It, the bail on this is thick, so you can abuse it quite a bit. Um, I have no doubt these are gonna do the trick. So we've got, the Daiwa Shock from Walmart, two micro series Shakespeare's, and the Matsuo Walmart or Big Art Special. <clears throat> so those are our rods, guys. Again, not that expensive, just using what I had in my uh, in my bag of tricks already. I didn't, I didn't go out and buy any new rods. I am gonna buy one more reel, but this thing's pretty cheap, so um, I'm not worried about it. But let's see what we have here. So there were a few things that they said were necessary um, that I did not have. And I wanted to make sure we were prepped as best as possible. Wow, lots of wrapping paper. First thing up, guys, two 300-yard spools of Power Pro 15-pound test braid. Why did I choose this? Because it was on sale. Guys, I needed a 15 pound braid. I needed a small diameter line. Uh, this stuff looks awesome, guys. So there's two 300, 300 yard spools uh, from Cabela's. Next up, another bag from Cabela's. Oh, looky here. In this bag, we have two 300 yard spools, this time of 20 pound braid. 20 pound braid. Again, guys, so they suggested 15 pound braid um, to 8 to 10 pound fluorocarbon. Guess what? These were on sale. So, what did I do? I bought the stuff that was on sale. It's 20 pound, 300 yard, 20 pound test. 300 yard braid from Power Pro. Do I care that it's Power Pro? Not really. Do I care that it's 20 pounds? Mm, kinda. Um, I, I just got it because I thought, hey, you know, it's close to uh, it's close to the 15 pound. We can put the 15 pound maybe on the black maxes and the 20 pound on the uh, bigger reels that we've got. So there's four boxes. We've got three, six, nine, 1,200 yards. 1,200 yards of braided line. So we've got enough, definitely enough. I could put all this on uh, one reel and have 100 yards left. We've got enough, definitely enough for three reels a piece. So, all right. Next up, I'm gonna leave this for the end because I think I know what's in it. Next up, guys, they said, so you need, you need good line. There's a small diameter braid to fight some of the coral and stuff. Tied to fluorocarbon, that's that's key on the flats. You also need a bag. You got to take a bag, and I think that's what's in here. So um, you need a bag to carry your gear, and they suggested a waterproof, a waterproof sling pack. Um, but again, I don't have the money for that. So being that this is not going to be a, a consistent thing that we're doing where we are waiting the flats in the Bahamas. I just got a cheap um, White River Slim Pack. Uh, a, a fairly small one, but guys, I wanted a small one. I, I didn't want to be um, weighed down by it with, with a lot of gear. I'm taking a few jigs, a few lures, some plastics, um, and that's it. So we've got this Awesome little sling pack from White River. This old Proposition 65, warning for California customers. Cancer and reproductive harm. 
about everything that I have seen lately has had that. I don't know what is up with that law with, with Proposition 65 in California, but I almost would rather not see it because I haven't seen a product that I've wanted to order that hasn't had it. All right, guys. So this bag, here we go. There's quite a bit of space in this bag. We've got, I see one, two, two big compartments, and then one, two, three, four small compartments. So I'll be able to, here's a, uh, the inside bag, or inside pocket, the, the outside pocket, has little compartments for uh, organizing things. Um, if, I'm, I, if I have two small boxes, I'll be able to slip them in there. Uh, or any tools I need will be able to easily slip in there. Let's start from actually going back to the outside. Uh, this looks like a great little pocket for some of this braided line on my fluorocarbon leader uh, to, to slip right in there. It's got two zipper handles um, with these rubber rubber, rubber handles. Um, yeah, so two nice little outside pockets there. Looks great. I could even put a little fly box in there if I needed to. I believe this this one here is made for your line, for your tippet, if you were actually fly fly fishing. Um, so I'll be able to maybe put our fluorocarbon in there instead of one of these bags or these pockets. And then the top here, a little top opening compartment. Um, great little cool little nylon bag in there. Um, Guys, the options are endless already, I'm seeing from this little thing. And it's tiny, I mean, it's a small bag, but it's gonna have a lot of space for what we need. So now the main compartment. We open up the main compartment. Now, I can tell right now, guys, I, the ease of access is not uh, not great. It's gonna be a little bit hard to get to our stuff, but there's, there's an option there for a bigger box to fit in there for tackle. Um, and so I'm not real worried about it. They've got these little eyelets here. I'm not sure what those are for. Um, but I'm sure we can figure something out. Guys, it has a shoulder sling and a waist belt for comfort. Yeah, so White River wading sling pack. Pretty awesome. Guys, this has some special stuff in it, some actual lures, so we can show you some of the things we're using to target these bonefish. Like I said, they like shrimp. And crabs. I'm sure they like all sorts of little crustaceans, whatever is available out there. But anyway, here we go. Packaging. All right, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, is a good pair of pliers. Now, these are six inch mag spring pliers from Rapala or Rapala. Um, however you like to pronounce it. Magnets hold the jaws open instead of a spring. So the claim to fame here is that uh, the, the metal spring won't rust or break. Okay, great. I felt for the gimmick. Um, it says mag spring loaded for smooth, one-handed operation, no metal spring or rust uh, to rust or break. Offset design creates a perfect, perfect angle. Now that is why I really like these guys. The, the, the jaws are offset. Um, made of 420 stainless steel with 10 nickel alloy plating, serrated jaws for secure hold, built-in line cutter, comfort grip handles, high compression sheath, lanyard ready. Now that was the thing that I didn't like about these, was that it did not come with a lanyard already. So we're gonna be waiting the flats. Yeah, two or three foot of water, great. Not that big a deal. If I drop them, I should be able to find them. But I plan on using these quite a bit for other applications. So I would like a lane here so I don't drop them in the water. So we're gonna have to hook one up, guys, but I'm really excited about these. It says, so you don't have to do this whole chopstick hold, but it looks like you're gonna still have to do the chopstick hold. Uh, I mean, they open a little bit, I guess. That's what I'll be looking for to get into a fish's mouth, nothing bigger than that. Um, so I guess, yeah, they work just fine, guys. So um, those are really important, actually, guys, because you wanna make sure that the fish stay healthy, so you, you gotta get that hook out of them the right way. Um, you've got the line cutters there for braid, hopefully that works. Um, hopefully this doesn't happen, but we might get a hook in ourselves. Um, you never know, pliers are probably one of the most important tools 
that you can have while fishing. The two things that we did need are, which I'm really excited about, so that box is empty. Empty. What I'm really excited for, hopefully we don't lose them, are these Z-Man Elastec Easy Shrimps. So they're pre-rigged, pre-rigged um, shrimps. And guys, I think we can target a lot of different species with these. Um, let me get, so here is low chartreuse. Um, they, they've got a keel weighted hook and they're pre-rigged, ready to go. Um, it doesn't say how much they weigh. One of the things in the videos I was watching, so these weights are notched, guys. You can cut them to match the fall that you want. So we've got those, again, glow chartreuse, and then this is natural. Pretty cool color. Uh, should work good. So, all right, ladies and gents, that is the unboxing portion of this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize that this is a little hodgepodge together, but I finally got um, my baits in today that are actually down there. I will show you in a second. But, so I, I have all the information about uh, our rods and our reels that we rigged up the other day. Um, but now a little run through of what we are taking for bait, okay? I've got those Z-Man, um, Easy shrimp, Elastec shrimp. I know, guys, they tell you not to put it in regular plastic. The Elastec and the plastic don't get along, but just for this one trip, I don't care if it ruins this box. I'm just gonna get rid of it. I've got, so these things are awesome. Look at these things. Bam. Those are sweet. Um, I've got some flukes over here, some swim baits, and just some, some uh, grubs, guys. I've got, um, some orange, some orange grubs, some chartreuse, and some pink. You know, I just put things together today and I thought, you know what? I bet those might work. I've got uh, a couple, ain't that, uh, a couple, a few eighth ounce jig heads in chartreuse, pink, and white um, for, for the grubs and maybe the swim baits too. I don't know. I've got some Z Man shroom heads for that stuff as well um, and some swim bait keel hooked keel weighted swim bait hooks so this is one box um, but now to get to the juice yeah this is my swim bait box guys that I rigged up but now to get to the juice again I'm gonna start on the the side that it's just kind of me messing around picking out stuff from my my bass um, boxes I've got a little jerk bait here I've got two spoons, a little Clio, and that's called a Castmaster Acme Tackle. I've got a uh, another jerk bait, jerk bait, a Rapala um, Shad Wrap, Shadow Wrap Shad. Sorry. Um, I've got a couple Meps spinners. These are awesome smallmouth baits, guys. But hey, who knows? Maybe they'll work. We'll see. Some more Meps spinners. Um, and a little blade bait here. You know, I wasn't gonna bring this because it's awfully heavy and we're gonna be fishing pretty shallow, but hey, it's shiny. Saltwater fish, kind of stupid. They're, they, uh, they fight hard, but man, anything shiny, they'll just attack it. All right, now to get to the juice, guys. Now, I'm telling you, this stuff is awesome. So the guy who makes these the guy who makes these baits, okay, it's called Bugs Fishing, and he sent me a little sticker, a little decal for the car. He sent me some lens cleaning wipes with my order, and I only ordered 10 jigs. He sent me a nice personalized note. Um, so again, guys, you want to check this place out, check them out. You know, he says, Cody, thank you for very much for your order. Hope you catch lots of fish uh, on these bugs. Please keep in touch and let me know how it goes. Tight lines. Once you see him, you know that he takes his time 
tying these things and I talked to him on the phone. I called his office or called the company thinking I was going to get some um, customer service line, but it was him. And guys, so these bonefish are going to be eating shrimp. Now look at that thing. Look at the detail on this. Unreal. He told me we need light gear because these are light jigs. They are inspired by flies and they are tied like flies. And they look awesome. This is probably what that fish is going to see from the back here. I mean, just unreal. They, the lifelike, how much they look like shrimp. So, there's one example. I'm just going to show you guys one more um, and, and call it quits for this video. But there it is, guys. I mean, that one, look, you can see the little eyes there, these little legs. And then they've all got these little feelers out here. Just attention to detail. This guy, no joke, I think it's so worth the money. Um, I've got 10 of these in different, we've got 3 16 8 and 16 ounce. So, in some various colors. And then my wife found this uh, little bass popper fly that we're going to try. So... Anyway, guys, please check out the videos that are upcoming for the Bahamas, and uh, we'll catch you later on another episode of Bahama Bass. I'm not quite sure I'm going to get any fly fishing in for you guys, but this might be the end of the video. Anyway, check out the Bahama videos. They are coming up soon. I promise I will not procrastinate on the editing. We're going to get some awesome footage. So... Catch you next time on another episode of Bomb and Bath.